today for a quick video for my Lizzie's Weighty Issues, I wanted to show you what I eat in a day. So it is currently like 10 o'clock in the morning, maybe 9.30. I had a late night. I had to go pick up someone from the Greyhound at like three o'clock in the morning and I was exhausted. So it's like 9.30 in the morning. I'm about to make my coffee and I'll show you like my macros and all that jazz from my app so that you can see what I had for the day. So yeah, so in the mornings I usually just have coffee with heavy cream. I add sugar-free vanilla now and like stevia and that's generally all I need. Sometimes I will have butter in it, like a tablespoon of butter a teaspoon of MCT oil. I'm skipping that today because I get to eat earlier today. So at 1.50, I get to eat. So then I'll show you what I'm prepping for my meal. I actually don't really know what I'm gonna have. I'm either gonna have another sandwich because I don't want the meat to go bad. And I have my keto bread or I'll just make like a hamburger patty. Oh no, you know what I want? I want breakfast. I'm gonna have bacon, eggs. Oh, I don't have avocado, boo. Uh, I'm gonna have bacon, eggs and cheese. I wish I had avocado because that would be really good. That's a good fat. Anyways, so you'll see what I'm making. But this is a what I eat in a day on keto. See you in a bit. Okay, so generally what I do is that I make one cup in the McKeurig. I put 30 milliliters of this or two tablespoons of the sugar-free vanilla. And you'll see that it has no sugars, no fat, uh, only five milligrams of sodium, no carbs, uh, no protein. So it has nothing. And then I do some stevia, which is in my cabinet somewhere in there. So right now I've poured all of that in here and then I'm gonna pour in my heavy cream, which I use Great Value Heavy Cream. And that has, let's see, that has one tablespoon is 50 calories and it has one carb total. So this gives me two net carbs because I do two tablespoons. So I'm gonna mix that up right now. Give me one sec. Okay, so I've poured in my two tablespoons of heavy cream. So now I'm gonna use my blender or my foamer. I love this thing because it just makes me feel like I'm having Starbucks coffee. So I just blend it in this cup thingy that I bought specifically for this. And I use this for the butter and the MCT oil as well, and it works perfectly. Like I don't have to put the coffee in the blender. It just melts and mixes all in. So that's basically it. Give me one this sec. Final product. That's my coffee and it looks so tasty. Okay, so now I'm making myself breakfast for lunch and I'm gonna do some bacon. I'm gonna do some eggs. I have no good fat. I don't have any avocado, so I'm a little bummed about that. But bacon, eggs, gorgonzola cheese spread on top, a little bit of green onions on top as well, and then with two slices of my zero-carb keto bread from Slim Foods, I think. And I think that might be it. I think that might be it. If I need more fat, I'll add another coffee. I love coffee. Haha. <laughs> But anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. Let me switch this around and show you. I've got this little screen protector I've learned and I'm baking four pieces of bacon. These two over here are from a meat market in New Braunfels and then these two are just regular like H-E-B brand bacons. So I'm just gonna let them cook, get all crispy and then I'm gonna use the bacon drips in order to cook my eggs. So, yay! Okay, now these are some of my other ingredients for my meal today. This is the bread that I was talking about, the Thin Slim Foods. It's zero carb bread, it's plain and thin. I think next time I'm just gonna go for the thicker side because it's thin is really thin. And it's 45 calories per slice. And you'll see here that it has total carbs seven, but it has seven fiber. So that makes it zero net carbs. Can you see that? So there you go. I'm also having one ounce of boar's head creamy gorgonzola cheese. And then I'm using the pasture raised eggs from HEB. They're a little bit pricier, but you know, it's good. And then green onions and some Kerrygold butter. I'm just gonna do a tablespoon melted in the microwave to put it on my bread. Okay, with the eggs, I try to keep it very simple. It's just eggs in the bacon drippings with some pink Himalayan salt, some cracked pepper, and that's it. I like them over medium, so right now I'm gonna flip them over and they will be good to go. Okay guys, and there's a final product that's breakfast for lunch. It's two eggs made in bacon drippings with just pink Himalayan salt and cracked pepper. I have an ounce 
of green onions, just cut over it because I really love onions and it just gives it a nice little crunch. One ounce of gorgonzola cheese, four slices of bacon, two slices of the keto zero net carb bread with a tablespoon of butter, and then one ounce of blueberries and my coffee. So just for this and the blueberries, the total carb content is six net carbs. If I add the coffee, that'll be another two net carbs or eight net carbs at 668 calories plus the coffee, so 768 calories. Yeah, so I'm gonna dig in before this gets cold. What, yes. Okay, so I'm done eating and that was nine net carbs and 703 calories. So that was really good for my first meal because I get 1800 calories a day. And so far with the coffee from the morning, it's about, I'm at about 806 calories. So I've got about a little less than a thousand to go for dinner. And I already know what I'm making for dinner. And I know it's going to be under a thousand calories because I'm making a recipe for my favorite cookbook, which I've mentioned in my 30 day keto journey, which I haven't posted yet because it's not over, but it's the keto and low carb cookbook, Asian cookbook. And it's by Tippy Tells. Uh, her first name's Tippy, I don't know her last name, but she's on YouTube and I love all of her recipes. She wrote it with her sister and they have some amazing keto and low carb options. And since I love Thai food and any Asian food in general, that's uh, we're having something from that cookbook tonight, which is basically green beans with ground beef and some Thai chilies and some other good stuff. And you'll see that later tonight. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll check in with you guys later, bye. Hey guys, so again, I'm using the Asian Keto and Low Carb Cookbook, and it's by Sister Sum, Allison, and Tippy Wyatt of Tippy Tells. That's Tippy, and I'm gonna be doing this recipe, which you'll probably see in my 30 day keto journey. I'm just not gonna do the fried egg, and instead of pork, I'm using ground beef. So right now, I have my sliced onion. It's a little bit more sliced onion than it asked for, but we like onion. We like the flavor of onion, and it's for how many servings? It makes three servings, so we should be good and I'm not going to be super concerned about the onion. I will still calculate it in my macros. And then it asks for optional six Thai chilies and I have two big ones and two small ones. So I think that'll be enough. This basil, I mean this mint, it also calls for garlic. So basically I'm going to throw six cloves of garlic and this into this little thing and give it a whirl. Okay, so I've got my long beans, or in this case, green beans, because I can't find long beans, ready to go. Onions, and I'm replacing basil with mint. It's gonna be a little different. And then here are my Thai chilies and garlic, and I'm about to pour two tablespoons of avocado oil in the pan. Okay, so I'm doing two ounce separata with one teaspoon of olive oil, some cracked black pepper, some pink Himalayan salt, and then I'm gonna cut this into pieces for a little snack before dinner. So I basically just added the garlic and the chai chilies into the avocado oil and I just let this cook for about two minutes and then I add my meat. Okay, so I've added the meat and then added some pink Himalayan salt and some cracked pepper. And I'm just letting it cook and then once it's cooked, I start putting in all the sauces. And next I'm gonna add the three tablespoons of oyster sauce, one and a half teaspoons of fish sauce, half a teaspoon of liquid aminos. I've already done the salt and then the fried egg I'm gonna do separately. So I have all of my ingredients here. I'm also adding some sesame oil because I just love the taste and some black sesame seeds for garnish at the end. This is what it looks like with all of the sauces combined and it smells delicious. Okay, so I've added the onion and the green beans to it, and now I'm just letting it cook. Now it's just cooling off. It has the mint in there, and now I'm also making eggs, fried eggs to cut it off. Okay, so I've already started eating it, but I just wanted to show you the final product. I took a picture, I'll insert it because it looks better. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a final check-in for the night. I ended my day with 1137 calories, and that's because I was at a deficit of 400 to 500 calories because of my workout. I ended up with 
18 net carbs. I allow myself 30 net carbs, so I did awesome with that. And yeah, I'll go ahead and insert my carb manager apps that you can see what I did for the day. And I went over on my fats, but it's fine. And my protein, I actually was pretty under. So yeah, overall, it was a pretty good day. I feel good. I'm about to do the workout. It's pretty late. It's like 1030. I was watching the, the Democratic National Convention and uh, it sort of got late on me because I was listening to, you know, the vice presidential nominee. And uh, yeah, so I'm getting my workout started late, but I'm going to get it done because it's day 10 of Chloe Ting and I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then I'm going to shower and then I'm going to go to bed. That's basically what's happening right now. All right. I hope you enjoyed this what I eat in a day keto edition and I'll see you guys next time. Okay guys, as you can see by this app, it has my carb content or net carb content plus my actual total carbs, my fiber, my fat, my protein, and my calories for the day. I ended up with 18 net carbs, 37 total carbs, 19 grams of fiber, 137 grams of fat, 77 grams of protein, and I ended up on 1,137 calories for the day. Now here you see what I had for breakfast, which I ended up with three net carbs and 102 calories. For lunch, I ended up with nine net carbs and 700 and three calories. For dinner, I ended up with six net carbs and 643 calories. For snack number one, 151 calories. And then for snack number two, one net carb and 23 calories. And then my Chloe Ting workout gave me a deficit of 485 calories. So I ended up with 18 net carbs plus 1,137 calories total. I highly, highly recommend this app, you guys. So I will link it below if you guys are interested, and especially if you're trying to get on a keto journey like I am. Once again, this is the Carb Manager app, and this is What I Eat in a Day Keto Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.